Happily ever after is not a phrase we are likely to see in the book of Judges. Yet the realness and rawness of how God reveals himself to and through his people lends credibility to this book that we call the Bible. God's not willing to sugarcoat his people's sins and failure. He's gonna give us true and authentic circumstances, even when it makes his people look very foolish. This feature of the Bible isn't just contained in the book of Judges, but the whole Bible carries this note of reality and it teaches us a great big lesson. We are all failures in desperate need of rescue. And that truth is never far away from us as we have studied this book of Judges. In chapter 13, we were introduced to a special child. This child was to be a Nazarite from the moment of his conception, and his name would be Samson. Samson's parents appear to be on board to raise this kid in the fear of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord began working in Samson's life sometime in his youth. And while the reader's hopes are high after such an impressive beginning, our author quickly dispels any illusions about Samson's piety. When Samson saw a Philistine woman in Timnath, he decided this was the woman he wanted for his wife. In spite of his parents' objections, Samson was driven by his lust and insisted on them getting this woman for him. And the whole wedding was a miserable failure when viewed from Samson's point of view, and he stormed off the scene at the end of chapter 14. But when he cooled and his passion for a woman revived, he set off to visit his bride and to reclaim her. But Samson was shocked and enraged to learn that his wife had been given to his best man, which prompted Samson to set the Philistines' farmlands ablaze by the use of 300 foxes. In retaliation, the Philistines burned Samson's wife and father-in-law to death. Well, now Samson felt justified to attack a great number of Philistines and kill them. So the Philistines formed a posse to pursue Samson into Israelite territory. And the men of Judah did not want to engage the Philistines in battle. And so they agreed with the Philistines to hand Samson over to them. And when the men of Judah came upon Samson... They rebuked him for making trouble for them with the Philistines. They agreed not to kill Samson, promising only to bind him up and deliver him over to the Philistines so that they could kill him. When the Philistines came upon Samson, his ropes dissolved, and seizing the fresh jawbone of a donkey, he used it to kill a thousand of the enemy. In his thirst and fatigue, Samson cried out to God, who answered him by creating a spring in the rock from which he and many others after him could drink. I mean, what a story, right? And it all got started when Samson said these little words, Get her for me. She is right in my eyes. But if we look back at chapter 14, verse 4, we see this very interesting phrase. It says this, His father and mother did not know that it was from the Lord, for he, God, was seeking an opportunity against the Philistines. At that time, the Philistines ruled over Israel. What does this mean? Does it mean that Samson's parents were wrong to protest against this pagan woman? Does it mean that Samson was right in his foolish behavior? No, it doesn't mean those things. But notice this with me. In verse 4, we are told that the Philistines ruled over Israel. We're told that Samson had no qualms in joining himself to a pagan woman. Later on in the chapter, the men of Judah had no fight in them, as it tells us in chapter 15. And they handed over Samson, Israel's greatest fighter at the time, to the Philistines. Verse 4 in chapter 14 lets us know that nothing is going to stop God from accomplishing his plan. No foolishness of man like Samson will stop God from, fooling, from fulfilling his plan. The question for us is do we want to live in the misery of our foolishness or in the peace and joy of God's agenda? As you pray today, please remember Michael and Josie Barton, our missionaries in Canada. Also, Remember the Fair Fair Life Word broadcast in Burkina Faso and Ghana.